I swear, this matter don't tire me. It don't tire me. In as much as I've promised not to discuss about Nigeria politics again, eh? in as much, there are some crazy stuff eh, that will just come up. Eh? It will make your head scatter. The matter tire me. The matter tire me. Have you guys checked uh, the Nigeria budget so far? Some revelations online? Because some of us are just living our life in this country. Eh? We, are, we are not paying attention to details. We will just wake up in the morning, go to uh, to the market, or go to our work, 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 earn little uh, income, go back, use that little income, that income will not even be enough, go back to work tomorrow, continuously, every day, that is how we live our life, and by the time you are, you are, you are approaching 60, you will discover that you have wasted your life for nothing, you are not earning enough. And meanwhile, some politicians are just busy. <sighs> you know, I, I honestly do not want to keep talking about Nigeria politics, Nigeria government as a whole. But there are some things uh, someone cannot just look and just turn the other eye, and just turn the other way. Well, first, let me play you a video from a military personnel country you know balance at all somebody will serve this country the military army navy air force he will serve this country for 30 years 35 years of service and after retiring is when he will have money to go and build a house in the village or drive his first car because he couldn't afford to buy it all this time or build a house then somebody that they read the election the person now is a house member we get 160 million just for car bulletproof meanwhile these people that have been sacrificing their life in the bush living in the bush can't even afford their house after retirement in this our country life no balance these military personnel should be extremely careful because it will be dealt with. It just reveal what we already know. But the fact is, eh, those military personnel and police, civil service, civil defense, and all those people, whenever there's an uprise among civilians over unpaid salary, over poor treatment from the government, they are still the one the government will deploy to harass, embarrass, and depress, and suppress the civilians who are fighting for themselves and also fighting for the general public, including the Nigerian army and including the Nigerian police. Many uh, are influencers around the world, many uh, are very outspoken people who have spoken against the gov their own government, individual government, concerning the bad treatment. All those police officers, all those military personnel will be deployed to arrest and harass and beat them up. I don't have, I see, I don't understand. You saw during the answers time, when Nigeria was saying enough is enough, who government said go deal with answers people? The military, the police, the civil defense, all of them. And meanwhile, majority of them, 99% of them are suffering the same thing. 99% of them are also taking their children to those, uh, to the universities that are not well equipped. You will see uh, uh, Equaman, let me use Equaman for, in the state for example. They, they recently increased their fees, skyrocketed, and, they were, and there was an uprise. It's the police again that came there to, to, to destabilize the peaceful protest. And meanwhile, some of the policemen have kids in Equaman. And they cannot even pay school fees. So, can you guys explain that irony? That's, I don't want to call it stupidity, but that's just what it is. I still try to wrap my head around it. It's not as if this police, this military personnel, none of them are better paid. Though. But, see, uh, 
I don't talk about before. Nigeria matter if they pay me to talk about. I just want to just focus on cruising and cruising and laughing about celebrities and everything. But some things eh, they really pay me for mind. Honestly, some things they really pay me for mind. And nobody is talking about it. Now, let's go to our Nigeria budget. Well, it was recently revealed. Some, uh, I'm just going to pick some headlines. According to Sahara reporter, they said President Tunubu Shetima to spend 10 billion naira on trips in 2024. 200 million naira to feed Aso rock animals. Ah, animals get 200 million naira. <laughs> They did job pass you for a year, 200 million naira. They did job pass you. <laughs> then, in, in the same 2024 budget, Femi Galadimawa will get 10 billion naira to renovate official residence and 10.1 billion for computer software. Okay? Uh, According to this lady, she just summarized everything. Her name is Luba, uh, Lubi. She said, student loan for millions of students, 5 billion. Shetiman house renovation, 15 billion. Galadimawa house renovation, 10 billion. Galadimawa, sorry, Ga, uh, why am I able to call it the man Galadima? Bajam Bamila house. Renovation 10 billion and he himself is also getting for computer gadget 10.1 billion. National Assembly will get 57 billion naira. Pradesh Tinubu Shetima to spend 10 billion on trips in 2024, 200 million naira to feed Aso Rock animals. Then also, this guy uh, wrote, check out the headline, say 10 billion, approximately 8.8 .8 million US dollars to be spent on Femi resident, 10.1 billion for computer software, 290 million Naira for SUVs vehicle, while 103 million for miscellaneous. <laughs> Niger, my people. God. You know how much is student loan? Student loan for millions of Nigerian students is 5 billion. Kuru, Kuru, the thing just they are like this. Who we actually come to make a difference in this country? Oh, oh, oh God, we need Savior. We need someone Savior. Who we actually come to actually make a difference in this country? Student loan for millions of Nigerians is 5 billion naira. EFCC, Dora. We just going about our business as if nothing they happen. You know, nobody wants to put his head on the line. Me myself, I'm not going to put my head on the line. I was so disappointed with the fact that I promised I would never discuss anything that has to do with Nigerian government again. Because the numbers of Nigerians that are not serious, eh? <laughs> that are not serious, eh? Are way, way many than Nigerians who are serious. Let me say, out of 100% of Nigerians, 98% eh, of Nigerians are not serious. I'm telling you honestly. They don't care. They rather wallow in poverty and scrap and scrap for stipends, scrap for small, 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 small jobs. That's what. That's what they do, that's what they like, and that's what they're looking forward to. Every day when they wake up, they're looking for small, small stipends. It's crazy. 
And the budget is big. I think the budget was projected to be 20 something trillion naira. So there are still other places again. This uh, news outlet are just picking some few stuff from the budget. So we're still going to see more. So let's move forward. This one is coming from uh, the EFCC chairman. He said 70% of Nigeria students are criminals. <laughs> According to the boss, he said it is worrisome that 7 out of 10 students, 10 students in Nigeria are involved in cyber crimes. They are the youth we are preparing to be leaders of tomorrow. The media should not relate in enlightening them on the evil of such criminal practice. If only eh, EFCC can go back to their original mandate. Seventy percent of Nigeria students are criminals, are involved in cyber crimes. Good and fine, but why not still use the same vein to call out Nigerian politicians now? Because that is the main purpose EFCC was created. But now they are famous with the world, they are old boys. When you see EFCC, the next day you will see beside it is your old boys. Because that is the main mandate now. After your old boys, after your old boys, after your old boys. Come on, man. It's crazy. Eh? You are preparing them for for future to be leaders of tomorrow. You are preparing Nigeria you to be leaders of tomorrow. Really? How are you preparing them? By lying? By, uh, didn't you see our judiciary, what they did? Don't you see how our elders will lie? We twist stories. We call black red. So how are you going to teach them? Man, see, I'm tired of talking about Nigerian things, man. And I think... I will just stop. Any Nigeria stuff I see here, I will just ignore it. When it comes to politics, so I will just ignore it. There are so many, many political news, all those kind of stuff that have been coming out. But I decided to just ignore most of them because they tire me to talk about. It's really, really tiring and depressing sometimes to even talk about. How can we be talking about same thing over the years and no single atom of change? The same goddamn thing. Okay. They say change is progress. We are progressing. We're going to change from here. Go to a little bit here. Okay, okay, okay. Patient, patient. Then how can you say Nigeria to be patient? Nigeria to bear the hardship. Nigeria to bear this. And meanwhile, when I also went to a strike and so many stuff, they say no money, no money, no. How can you be placing, how, how are we going to fund this lifestyle of these politicians? Then balance it with the lifestyle of Nigerians and also develop Nigeria infrastructure, develop Nigeria school, healthcare and everything. In our healthcare sector now, Nigeria knows as doctors are leaving this country. Yeah, there's this Japa syndrome everywhere now. They are leaving. Every day, every day they are living. It's crazy, man. 